Another mainstream adoption of cryptocurrencies, and this time it is MoneyGram getting in on the action. Shares of MoneyGram climbed the most in 10 months after saying it was working with the blockchain startup Ripple. It'll be testing the use of cryptocurrency to move funds. Let's bring in our Bloomberg editor-at-large, Corey Johnson, who is in New York, who's been covering this story. So they mentioned speedier transactions yeah. here, Corey. What does this mean? So when, when, I, you know, when I first ever heard about Bitcoin, when I first thought about Bitcoin, I think for a lot of people, their first notion of Bitcoin and then later cryptocurrency and blockchain, you got to think about the business of Western Union and MoneyGram, moving money across borders, getting it there quickly with lower fees. If you are, are a, a foreign worker working in the U.S. and you're trying to get money home to your family, you, you go to the, 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 the 7-Eleven and try to transfer money using, using uh, MoneyGram, using Western Union, a Western Union store. The fees are enormous and outrageous and the process is slow. The idea that you could move money like you could move email is a dream and that's what Bitcoin seemed to promise. That's certainly what Ripple seems to promise. MoneyGram and Ripple are absolutely in competition with each other. To see these two businesses come together and see MoneyGram look at a way to move money faster is an amazing thing. It will give them a leg up over competitors like Western Union, but it also massively erodes their business model. It's interesting to see these guys, I think, probably smartly recognize that they've got to get ahead of this train or they're going to be under the tracks. So, you know, we've spoken to the Ripple CEO recently. Let's take a listen to what he had to say about the future of cryptocurrency as he sees it. There's no doubt 2017 has been, you know, amongst other things, the year of crypto. And within the year of crypto, XRP has outperformed every other digital asset out there. So uh, year to date, as, your, as that chart showed, we're up about 20,000%. It's interesting to compare uh, Bitcoin to, you know, a slower yeah. sort of credit card-like transaction. Do you think that cryptocurrencies like Ripple or Ethereum could surpass Bitcoin or come close? Well, year. look, I, I think that, that, you know, that's why this show exists, right? It's, it's so we can have an understanding of what these technologies are, not just so squiggly lines on a screen. And uh, when we get to a place where we're talking about the efficacy of uh, blockchain technologies and even currencies that use blockchain, rather than the price is up, the price is down, that's when we've elevated into a conversation about actually what these things are and what they might be as a business. I thought it was really interesting what Kodak had to say. I talked to the CEO of MoviePass. So the, the company that owns MoviePass, uh, MoviePass is a really interesting startup that actually has a public structure that's very complicated. The business of MoviePass is really simple. It's Netflix for the physical movie theater by one of the Netflix co-founders. And I talked to the CEO of Movie uh, MoviePass yesterday about their notions of using blockchain and what they're actually going to do with it as opposed to talk about it. Uh, and, and and listen to what he had to say about how blockchain might change business. It is the... Is it 20% more valuable than it was yesterday? You know, it's worth more every... I think the public doesn't quite understand that we're on the verge of disrupting the whole way, not only the way you go to movies, but the whole distribution of content. And that's the thing. It's the notion of distribution of content and not just how MoviePass might use something in blockchain, and they say they're going to do it within nine months, but how lots of businesses out there, I fully expect we're going to hear from lots of other companies about how to use this technology to solve old problems. Then we can get away from squiggly lines and a stock price and actually understand how technology is changing business.